This is Severe MMA. We're at Cage Warrior 76 Newport, and we're alongside the third fight of the night winner, Polly Beauchamp. Polly, yeah, you're a fighter that in the UK, sort of women's amateur, you're a name that people know, certainly a name that we followed. Yeah. Your opponent tonight, Manuela Marconetto, for, forgive me for killing that last name. I, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> really, really tall, really lengthy, yeah. really unorthodox, but you seemed, to, you seemed to grow in confidence as the rounds went on. Talk yeah. us through the fight. Um, well, to be honest with you, I was going into this fight like blind, really, because um, although I, I knew that she came from a stand-up background, um, I think she's got quite a good kickboxing record, um, and I know she'd had one MMA fight, there's, there's no video footage out there at all. Um, obviously, I looked, my coach just looked. Um, the only thing we could find was a really, really old kickboxing fight which we couldn't take anything from. Um, obviously, there's, there's a few of my fights out on YouTube, so I know that her and her coach would have been studying them, and I knew that they probably had a, a game plan for me. Unfortunately, we had to, <laughs> we, we had to kind of cover everything, check all the boxes, because we, we didn't know at all how she fought, what her style was. So, um, so yeah, kind of going into it blind, I just was ready for, for anything, really. But in, in the first round, when she, I mean, she started to use, she started to use her length a little bit, and she, and, and throughout the fight, she was switching stances, and so did. did did she show you anything that, that, that sort of surprised you that you, you didn't expect or you hadn't seen before? Um, no, not really, to be honest. Um, like I, I worked quite, quite a lot on my movement. I mean, I've always worked on my movement, so um, I found even when I was in there, I, I could kind of read what she was going to throw. So I, because um, I'm small, I'm quite quick as well. So I used that to my advantage. So um, I thought she looked like maybe she was loading up a little bit. So I, I managed to kind of get out of the way of right. most most things. And of course, this was at uh, about 112. Uh, well, uh, the the fight, the, they were originally looking for opponent for 115 pounds for me for sure weight. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, they, they couldn't find anyone at that weight for me. And uh, Manuela stepped up and said she could get to 54 kilograms, which is 119 pounds. So I agreed to that catch weight. Um, she ended up weighing. In light anyway, she came in at 116. Um, I came in at 112. Um, I didn't even cut at all. I'm, I'm naturally quite small. Um, my next fight is obviously at 105 pounds, yep. so it's going to be a big drop, which is probably more me to be honest because I only walk around at about 116 anyway. <laughs> we, 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 we'll finish off on this fight. We'll quickly talk Wendy McKenna, who you've sure. got next. Cage Warriors, you know, it's a, you're one of the largest organizations in, in European MMA. It's back sure. and you get to fight on the card. How cool is yeah. that? Yeah, I was. Absolutely over the moon to be on this card, to be honest. Um, I'm slightly disappointed with myself, if I'm being honest, because I felt like I could have done a lot better tonight. Um, I'm going to interrupt you. Go, go on. I know it's only been a minute or two since yeah. you got out of the cage, but yeah. the win aside, I'll ask you what your positive is, but what are you kind of beating? Because you don't look like a happy bunny. You do look like you're beating uh, stuff beating yeah, yourself up I, a bit. Yeah, when I was in there, do you know what? I just... Um, I don't know whether it was because I wasn't sure what I was expecting. Um, a lot, like all fighters uh, go through camps and they pick up injuries and stuff. Um, so I'm not not mainly, but I have had a couple of injuries throughout this camp. I've had to train around them. I haven't been able to train as, as hard or as well as I'd like to. Um, when I got in there, injuries kind of came to the back of my mind. Did tweak something in, in that fight, so I was kind of fighting smart and I wasn't committing. I didn't didn't show my wrestling's a lot better than that. I didn't. I just feel like I put on a really bad performance. I knew I was performing badly in there. My coach, my corner, were telling me I was putting on a bad performance, really. And I, and I knew it. I felt it. You, you know, I, 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 I was just like, I'm sorry. Like, I, I got the win, but I. Sorry, I'm going to put you just in the shot. Sure. Yeah, you know, as somebody who doesn't compete, look, I, I've said this to, 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 to fighters at numerous levels. If you can put on a performance when you're not fighting at your best and beat an opponent who arguably is, that can't be a bad thing ever, can it? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm really happy I got the win. Obviously, um, she, you know, she was she was a tough girl. She she looked good. She was in good shape as well. You know, she obviously had been training hard. So obviously, I'm really chuffed I got the win. Um, I did. I felt like I won the fight. I, you know, I didn't. I didn't think like I lost yeah. it when I was in there. I just. I know I can do better. So next well, time I will. <laughs> he's, uh, next time is July 23rd. Jack, Jack Mason's BCMMA 16. You're fighting BKK's Wendy McKenna yeah, yeah, for an amateur title at Adam weight. Well, I don't want you to give anything away, but you know, what's the one thing about today's fight that you would change for July 23rd? What's the one thing about the performance today we're not going to see next time? Uh, it, was, it was just having more belief in myself. I needed to commit more. I didn't commit to, to anything that I did in there, and I could have done. I know I can do better, so it's commitment.
news. It's a fight between two two young ladies who have you know an equal number, five or six fights between yeah. you. It looks on paper to be competitive. Is that the way yeah. you feel? Yeah, I mean, I, I actually know Wendy. We both um, we both competed at the uh, Europeans in in Birmingham in November last year. Um, she competed at uh, flyweight, and I was at strawweight. And um, I know that Wendy trains out of a very good gym. Um, she's a very well-rounded fighter. You know, I know she had a few boxing fights. She wrestles. She's got jiu-jitsu. She's stand-up. So um, I think it's going to be a good fight. Um, I think it's going to be a close fight. Uh, so I think it, yeah, it'll be tough. It'll be tough for us both. It'll be. One last question for you, and then I'll let you go. You know, B BC MMA, the, the, the whole upper card yeah. is some of the best prospects and pros in, in, in English women's MMA. Yeah. Is, is that a pretty cool thing, too? Uh, yeah, it's brilliant. Uh, absolutely um, awesome that they've got so many females on the card. Um, obviously, there being quite a you know, few, there's, only, there's not loads of females in the, in the UK, so I know of them. I know a few of them. I train with a few of them. Uh, it's brilliant that they're all on the card. I think it's going to be great. So. Paul, it's it's always a pleasure watching you perform. I can't wait to see you on July 20th.